More than a month since a deadly shooting at a block party in Detroit, police are still searching for a suspect. Tonight, we're raising the voices of families across Detroit, reaching out to 7 News Detroit for help. Earlier this week, we sat down with the family of 22-year-old Jordan Thornhill, who was shot and killed on the 4th of July. His mom and dad saying they're frustrated with Detroit police and how they're handling their son's murder investigation. Well, since then, we've heard from several families sharing similar concerns about how DPD is handling their cases. 7 News Detroit reporter Jasmine Barmore raising their voices and questioning police on how they're communicating with victims' families. After speaking with the family of Jordan Thornhill, one of the victims from the 4th of July block party shootings, more victims' families reached out to me. They express that they are frustrated with DPD because of the lack of communication and that they feel that there is a disconnect between families of victims of crime and the Detroit Police Department. So I reached out to Chief White today and I asked him about it. Are you aware that the families of the block party shootings dating back from May, they're not getting any communication from DPD? Are you aware of that? Well, that would be shocking for me. I'm not getting any communication from the Detroit Police Department. You're pro you're pro supposed to protect and serve, you're not serving anything. Philip Arnold is not just heartbroken over the death of his son, Philip Arnold Jr., but he is also brokenhearted at the fact he says that DPD is not reaching out to his family. Philip Jr. was killed on July the 7th at an unsanctioned black party shooting on the city's east side. And his dad says he hasn't spoken with anyone in at least five weeks. I had to reach out personally to even get any information on anything, any detectives on the case. Sadly, Philip is not alone in this matter. The families of Imani Peterson and Kiani Trimble both say they also have not been contacted by anyone at DPD. I feel like they're not doing enough. I feel like they're not doing their job. Um, they're not reaching unless you call. You have to call them. Um, I just feel like it's not fair. I just feel like no one's doing nothing. And it hurts to know that your daughter out here and that got killed and you don't know what's going on. Imani was shot in June at another unsanctioned block party. She succumbed to her injuries 15 days later. I spoke with the grandmother of Kiani Trimble. She says her granddaughter was also killed in June at another unsanctioned block party on the city's east side. But the last time she heard from DPD was in June. I have to contact them. They don't contact me. As of current, no arrests have been made on any of the cases. When I tell you, I heard so many stories about that night, people telling me what happened. But that has to reach the police. It's really hurting me because, like I said, I'm doing all the reaching out. And like I tell her that I have stuff on the streets. Like, let me tell y'all what I'm hearing. I need to know, you know, and um, I just feel like she acting. It just, it just eats me up inside thinking that I probably would never know who or why my son was murdered. But here's what I'm willing to do. Uh, if you can provide me who these folks are, uh, give me their names and their phone numbers, I will bring them to a table in my office. Now I will be keeping you updated on when the meeting with the chief and the victim's families is going to happen. But in the meantime, if you want to support these families, tomorrow there is a ride for justice against gun violence where all the victims of the block party shootings will be honored. To find out more information on how you can attend, please go to our website wxyz.com. We have a link there with all the information. In Detroit, I'm Jasmine Barmore, 7 News Detroit.